You're watching Pegarai TV, Rhode Island's public access channel. holidays and welcome to lifestyles by Lola I'm Lola Jamal first I have to say big shout out to Rhode Island public access uh, I was really lucky enough this year to win best show uh, in two categories so I actually won in the best health fitness and self-help program so I hope that I uh, am helping you guys out there with my little quick tips and everything that I do as well as being the best talk and variety program which was a special recognition so I'm really excited to be a part of the Rhode Island public access family and uh, on to the rest of the show the holiday season is a time to buy gifts right but you want to save money. Not everyone can afford those brand new designer bags or pumps or some super expensive jewelry. I have some gift ideas. For your teenage daughter or the young fashionista, glitter nail polish. You can't go wrong. Gold, silver, doesn't really matter. They also come in green. I've seen red ones. They're super fun. They're festive. And every girl loves nail polish. Now, for more sophisticated ladies, red lipstick. Every woman that knows about lipstick knows that you are always searching for the perfect shade of red lipstick. Now, you want to make sure that you know the type of red lipstick to get because, you know, the whole myth about redheads not being able to wear red lipstick, so untrue. You just need to know the actual skin tone of the person when you're purchasing it and their hair color does definitely play in what shade they should get. You have so many different shades of red. There are deeper tones, tones that have more pink, tones that have more blue, tones that have more brown. The makeup artist or the cosmetic consultant that you deal with when you're getting your lipstick can help you with those things if you're descriptive about the person that you're buying it for. Also, you wanna think about getting matte lipstick or high shine or gloss lipstick, depending on what the person likes. Older women usually like matte lipstick. Glossy lipstick tends to run. Younger girls like myself like a little shine on the lips, so maybe you want to do more of a glossy lipstick. It all depends, but you can never go wrong, and it's a simple gift that doesn't cost a lot of money. Now, for your family or your grandma or the sentimental people in your life, I love these snow globes. They're so cool. All you have to do is pick up a random snow globe they sell them everywhere now you can get them as low as five bucks and you pick out your favorite little Christmas photo you can shrink it down to size on your computer and print it out and uh, put it in there and it's such a novelty gift to give to your grandparents or even your mom or anybody who just loves sentimental family photos for that person this is a great gift now for teenage sons or for your husband or for any guys since some of this stuff might be a little girly i think music is always a great option do a christmas cd get them in the spirit pick some of their favorite christmas songs maybe some of the ones that you think they'd like and if you don't want to do music you can also do a dvd as well with all of your or their favorite christmas movies and package it up simple takes a little bit of time but definitely cost effective not very high on cost other thing that I think you can never go wrong with baked goods cute little silver you know can or even in a lovely little wicker basket sugar cookies ginger snap cookies gingerbread cookies you know an apple pie 
People love when you make them something that's baked. It says that you took time and you put love into some amazing, yummy food. And this is the time where we all pig out anyway. So have fun and try some of these options. And I think that it'll be a good way to save money, but also maybe even as a stocking stuffer if you are still buying some of your larger gifts for your friends and family. What do we like to drink during the holiday season? Hot chocolate, of course. And there's so many different ways that you can actually prepare it. You've got your powder, my favorite, chocolate shavings, which you can do on your own or you can buy, as you see there, in the bottle. I prefer the shavings. I think it's more healthy. I think it's natural. You can even do them yourselves. There's tons of places like the grocery store or even your favorite candy shop where you can buy pieces of dark chocolate. Shave it down, boil water or milk, and allow it to melt and cook together. And you've got some amazing healthy, because dark chocolate has a ton of antioxidants, which we need during this season, amazing hot chocolate. So, other things I like to do when I'm, you know, making my own version of hot chocolate is I like to rim my glass. You don't have to only rim your glass when you're having an alcoholic drink. You can do it with your non-alcoholic drinks as well. However, if you do decide you want to add a little liquor to your hot chocolate, amaretto is probably one of the best ways to go. It's very yummy. So, rim the glass. I wet my edge. So that's basically just the rim. And then I have a paper towel, which if you've been watching the show, you've seen me do this before. I sprinkle some cinnamon sugar, of course, onto my paper towel here. And then I just press the edges of the glass. And by doing that, I get a nice little coat of sugar, which will add as I'm sipping it. Uh, with each sip, you get a little bit of sugar and a little extra flavor. So got my hot chocolate here. You can rim the glass. But another thing that you can do that's kind of kooky, but I love it, something that I just started doing is adding chili powder. Yes, I know. It's like a seasoning that you cook with normally, but you will be surprised how yummy it is in hot chocolate. Not a lot, obviously, just a little pinch but the kick that it gives really warms you up and it kind of starts that inner fire going that you want when you're drinking something warm and you're super cold outside. Now, if you'd like mint hot chocolate, which is something else that's become very popular this season and I personally love, all you have to do is something as simple as adding a candy cane or while you're boiling the chocolate flakes, or your powder, you can add mint leaves. But this looks more festive. And all you have to do is as simple as unwrapping your candy cane and adding it to the side of the glass. People love this. It's such a novelty, you know, look. You can stir up the sugar or the honey that you put at the bottom and it actually slowly starts to melt. And look how beautiful and cute and fun that is. So, enjoy your hot chocolate and stay warm and toasty this holiday season. Gift wrapping. Some people love it, some people hate it. I personally love it. There's something special about knowing that every gift that I give is going to someone special, whether it's a friend or a family member and I'm enjoying watching them unwrap it. However, I like to personalize them as well and make them even more special than just paper over a gift. Now, I always say if you're not a gift wrapper, go to the store and have them do it for you. It's much easier and faster and you don't have to do the work. But if you're like me and you like wrapping, here's a few little tips to make your gifts more interesting and a little more personalized. One thing that I like to incorporate are ornaments. There are so many different ornaments out today that you can add to your gifts and make them more interesting. This one in particular is really nice because 
you get a photo on the front. So you can do your family photo for the year and put it on top of, you know, whatever gift you're giving away to family member and actually, you know, just with your tape, tape it on there and it'll dangle off as so. Another option that I like to do, especially for children, are the little ornaments that open. So you can put any kind of goodies in here, chocolate, M&Ms, nougat, whatever you want. You close it up and uh, once you close it up, the same as with the other one, you just tape it onto your gift. There you go, got a little loop and uh, it hangs off as so. What's nice about these also is that when you give an ornament, it's not only going to get, you know, thrown away like the paper. It's going to get kept. It's going to be a treasure. It's something that is a keepsake. Um, it's almost like a stocking stuffer. But, you know, people see it immediately and it's like they got two gifts. Another thing that I like to do for kids, because kids don't care and they probably aren't even interested in ornaments, but what usually I like to do is wrap candy on the top of a gift, especially for a child. They see the candy, they're already excited about the candy before they even open it. And I love watching them get excited and riled up. You can tape, you know, candy canes on them, lollipops, be creative, whatever you can come up with. And that adds that element to get them excited and get them happy about opening their gift even before they know what's inside. Another thing might seem a little crazy, but I'm all about scents. I'm telling you, if there was smell-o-vision, I'd be all in. So, I like to spray my gifts. They have a really nice scent when you open them, and even when you are ripping the paper, you get like a whiff of it, and it can be any scent that you like. I have a holiday, you know, spray, and it's just a light mist. You don't do it directly on the paper because it'll stain the paper. So it's just kind of like a mist, it lands over everything, and it actually adds that smell to the wrapping paper very lightly. I also do it inside of cards as well. So when they open a card, they're like, wow, this card smells so good, or they're like, oh my goodness, this gift smells so good. Every element that you can add to personalize your gifts adds to the experience of the person who's opening it, whether the smell or whether the taste being candy or a fragrance, there's all these different ways that you can make your gift wrapping experience more exciting, fun, and interesting to the people who are opening the presents that come from you. So if you have the wrapping blues, try some of these things and see how it works for you. How do you decorate your home? There are so many different ways, especially during the holiday season. But I'm not here to tell you about how to wrap garland around your Christmas tree or your staircase. I'm here to tell you about something that you may not normally think about as using for decoration, but can totally be used for decorations. So, do you ever have those pieces that fall off of your artificial tree and you don't know what to do with them, they look something along the lines of this. It might be a branch or usually these are used to hide the metal part of the Christmas tree. Well, you probably have extra ones that you're not using, right? You can use these to wrap around anything and make it decorative and festive. I chose a candle. So basically what I did as I place my candle in the center. You can also do this with baskets, anything that has a round, you know, nest to it because of the wire that's actually in this material, it bends. So once I wrap it around, I create, again, just a hook on one side and place it downwards. And now I've got my Christmas festive, super quick and easy decorative candle. A votive. Another thing that you can do, Christmas hats. I have so many Christmas hats. I'm wearing one. I get them all the time from friends, my mom, people just, you know, during the holidays 
they either give them to you or they leave them at your house and they come over. So I have all of these random Christmas hats and how many hats can you really wear at once? I came up with a way to decorate my tissue boxes. I still need my tissue box during the winter season, but why not decorate it with a Christmas hat? Super fun and easy. All you do is slip the box into your hat and then once you place it down, take the little puff and place it to the side. So it has a really fun, jovial look to it and it's still decorative and at least you're using the Christmas hat that would normally just be lying around doing nothing. <laughs> Pine cones. They smell amazing. They will smell up your entire house. You can place them in a basket and it doesn't have to be a Christmassy color basket like this. It can be just a simple basket but that smell that it gives off and just the element of seeing pine cones represents that winter season I feel. I've also placed them within my votives here. So this was a simple project. I took the largest pine cones that I had and I just place them in between the grooves and basically made sure that they were, you know, pretty stable. And you can add even more, like if I wanted to add some in here, the literal ones fit into the grooves and you can even place them around as well. But decorating with pine cones, I just think it's so great because they are dual purpose. You get a smell and a scent out of them, but they're also representing the Christmas season and they're not uh, something that takes up a lot of space. You can add them along your fireplace, you can add them to this votive like I did, or just place them in a basket and have them displayed like that. These are just a couple little things that you can do with some stuff that you might have lying around, like that extra, you know, pine from your artificial tree or an extra basket or maybe that Christmas hat that you don't know what to do with if you don't feel like wearing it at that time. Try it. I think that uh, these are some fun ways to add a little bit of a decorative element to your home for this holiday season. During the holiday season, we get so stressed out over different things from shopping to waiting to the last minute to getting the right gifts and really that's what this episode was about. So I hope that we helped you with some of the quick tips whether it was warming up with mint hot chocolate or finding things around the house that you could use with your decor to add to your festiveness in your home or whether you decide to do some of the cheap tips and maybe get a nail polish for a friend or a lipstick or even make a musical CD. All of these things are really to just make this holiday season more fun and lighthearted instead of stressed and crazy. To make it a little easier, I even made a list. These are just a couple things that I try to do during this time of year to not lose my mind. I shop with friends. So number one is shop with friends. Obviously you're not going to shop with the person that you're buying the present for at that time, but there's nothing wrong with getting together with your girlfriends and having a really nice Christmas macchiato before you go shopping for your boyfriend or your husband or even the kids. Make it fun. It shouldn't feel like a chore. Also, BOGO. Everybody loves BOGO. If you're buying one thing and you're getting something for free or half off, think about multiple gifts that you can get for other people. It's like killing two birds with one stone. You're getting one gift for one person and maybe the other gift that you're getting, if you're able to get it half off or for free, you can get two gifts at once. Awesome plan. Another thing, sale. This is a time of year where you want to save money. You're already spending so much. So if you can find things that are already on sale that just so happen to be on the list of what your friends and family want, go for that. Look for the deals. Don't just buy the first thing that you see. Shop around. Also, gift cards. If you really don't know what to get the person, don't try and guess. If you know the store that they like to shop at, 
get a gift card for that store. They will appreciate it and they will love buying something from that store for themselves. Also, shopping online. It's so easy. You can sit in your pajamas. You don't even have to leave the house. And sometimes the deals that are online are better than the deals that are at the store. Most importantly, this one is my favorite because since I've moved here from New York, I realize that what makes Rhode Island so special is that we always support our local businesses. Support your local businesses. They need to make money too. They have gifts to buy for their friends and family. And by supporting them and buying gifts for your friends and family, you're allowing them to be able to do the same for theirs. I also think that using gift bags is a great way to wrap gifts instead of sitting with the wrapping paper and tape and scissors. I love wrapping. It's therapeutic for me, I swear. But if you don't feel like doing what I did and adding bows and ornaments and candy for the kids, keep it simple. Put it in a bag, little bit of tissue paper, call it a day. And the great thing, gift bags come with cards. So you don't even have to label who it's for, just write the name on the card. Another thing, don't wait till the last minute. I don't know how much more I can stress this. People wait till the last minute and that's what makes you nuts. Plan and shop in advance. Also, don't be afraid to ask. So many times we all get gifts that we hate. I like to ask people three or four things that they're thinking of that they would like to get. This way the surprise element is still there, but you know what they want. So you're not going to get them something that they don't like. And my most important, very important, is get in the spirit. Get out there. Go ice skating. Go make yourself some, you know, mint hot chocolate. Go hang out with your friends and family. Listen to Christmas music in the car. Listen to, you know, the music of the holiday season. Get festive and enjoy it. It shouldn't feel like a humdrum, crazy, annoying time. And so, from our little family here, <laughs> Javon and I would both like to wish all of you and yours happy, happy holidays. holidays. And, as always, live life.